boys and girls, it's Miss Lorraine. Welcome to my house. I have somebody with me. This is my son Emilio. Hi. And today we wanted to show you one of our pets that we have at our house. We have a dwarf hamster named S'mores. S'mores. We have her right now on the table and we make sure that we're looking at her and watching what she does because a dwarf hamster can run along real quick right before your eyes. So Amelia is handling her right now. Do you want to hold s'mores up and show the boys and girls at home what she looks like? Hey, can we close there she is. Can we close? Sure, you can bring it closer. There she is. She's saying hi to the boys and girls. Now S'mores is very active at night and sleeps all day long. At night we hear her wheel going round and round. She gets her exercise. <laughs> Do you want to put her on there to show the boys and girls if she'll go and run around on her wheel? Okay, I'll try. Let's see if we can get her to go. One, Smoothie, one. Let's see if she'll run on her wheel. Come on, Smoothie, one. There she is. I think she's just smelling the air and getting to know oh. the table. Because we never bring her out on the table. We usually hold her on our laps on the couch. Or we'll put her on the floor with a towel down. Wanna go down, Smoothie? She also has a little purple tube that she likes to run through. She was trying to make her way through before. Yeah. She also likes to have her little grains and seeds that she likes to eat. And since rodents, which are hamsters, their teeth constantly grow, they have to chew down on things so that their teeth don't get too long, that they're not able to chew. So we give her these little chew sticks that she likes to munch on. She's cleaning herself right now. She likes to take her two little paws and wipe her face and go like this. And there she is. S'mores, our number one pet. Here you boys and girls can get a closer look of s'mores. There she is. she see her food? Will she take a piece of food right now? Uh-oh! There goes her little wheel. Let's see if she'll go on her tube. Oh, let's get a closer look. Maybe she's going to clean herself. There she is. And she has the softest little fur, too. Let's see if she'll take a little piece of her food. Here we go, s'mores. Can you show the boys and girls at home how you nibble on your food? Nope, s'mores is being shy right now. There she is. Usually at night she likes to go underneath her wheel and take her naps in there. Not at night, excuse me, during the day. Oh, let's see if she'll run on her wheel. Come on, s'mores. Show us how you can do it. Run real fast. Go, s'mores. Go, s'mores. Come on, s'mores. Show us what you can do. Here she goes. <laughs> Say bye, s'mores. You keep running on that wheel, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye, s'mores. Five fun facts about dwarf hamsters. Fact number one. They are nocturnal. 
This means they sleep during the day and are active at night. Fact number two, their teeth never stop growing. That is why we give s'mores special sticks to chew on. Fact number three, hamsters are very fast runners. S'mores loves her running wheel. Fact number four, dwarf hamsters are only two to four inches long. Fact number five, hamsters have cheek pouches called dysplastomes. They are used for storing food. Now let's listen to two fun stories about hamsters. Hot Rod Hamster, Monster Truck Mania by Cynthia Lord. Truck day, treat day, cotton candy, sweet day, fun day, fair day, music in the air day. The monster truck show starts at three o'clock. We have some time to wait. What should we do? Rides! Let's find the best ride. The best ride will be fun. How about this one? Sailboat, rowboat, pirates long ago boat. Subboat, tugboat, chug a chug a chug boat. Which one would you choose? Arr! The boat ride was fun. But the best ride will be fast. Plain cup, bright cup, checkered black and white cup. New cup, old cup, rimmed in shiny gold cup. Which one would you choose? Whee! The teacups were fun and fast. But the best ride will let us drive. Sports car, race car, fun in outer space car. Cop car, mail car, make the siren whale car. Which one will you choose? Hot rod hamsters smashing, crashing through. The bumper cars were fun and fast and let us drive. But the best ride will go up in the air. I don't see any rides that do any of those things. And now it's time for the monster truck show. I'll catch up. I want some cotton candy. Okay, but hurry. I'll save our seats. Red swirl, peach swirl, mix a bit of each swirl. Blue swirl, green swirl, Tasty tangerine swirl. Which one would you choose? Oh no, I broke my glasses. I can't drive without them. But fearless Franco, who will drive your monster truck? Drive? I'll do it, I'll do it. Pedals, when I say grab a footful, you hit the gas. Huge truck? High truck, mud is gonna fly truck. Strong truck, steel truck, make those tires squeal truck. Welcome to the monster truck mania. Here comes fearless Franco. Grab a footful. Look out fearless Franco doing donuts. He's spinning like a cyclone. This is so much fun. I can't believe Hamster's missing this. And there's a sky wheelie. Wait a minute. Fearless Franco looks familiar. Could it be? What a surprise. It's not Fearless Franco. It's... Hot Rod Hamster! That was the best ride of all. You saved the show. As a thank you, here are some special tickets you can use for anything at the fair. 
Hot treats, cold treats, wrapped in pretty gold treats. Slurp treats, lick treats, eat it on a stick treats. Which one would you choose? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The end. And the next story that I'm going to read is Stanley's Fire Engine. It's going to be another busy day at Stanley's Fire Station. Stanley and Peggy keep Stanley's Fire Engine in tip-top condition. It needs to be ready for anything. Stanley's Fire Engine has very long ladders that can reach very high places. Like the tops of trees for whenever kites and teddies and little woos get stuck in them. Stanley's fire engine also has very long hoses. They are perfect for extinguishing Charlie's annual barbecue or cooling down anyone on the sunniest of days. Clang, clang, clang goes the bell, which means get out of the way. We're going to the fireworks. Stanley and Peggy stand by in case of accidents, but Shamus and Haiti know what they are doing. So everything goes off with a bang, a whiz, a swoosh, and a kaboom. Well, what a busy day. Time for supper. Time for a bath. And time for bed. Good night, Stanley. The end.